hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i created this beautiful accent wall i know when i made this room tour people were thinking this was a wallpaper and i said no it's not wallpaper so this video is going to show you how i made it and if this is what you're interested in please stay tuned and keep watching Before we start, these are the equipment you're going to be needing to create this accent wall. So the first thing I did was to tape off all the corners or all the edges that I do not want the paint to affect. Do you understand? So I taped off all the corners and yeah, that's the first thing I did here so that I can restrict my painting to where I want it to be. This step is very important if you want a very neat finishing. Just take your time. Don't be in a hurry. Make sure you have taped correctly before you begin. So the paint I'm going to be using on this wall is Dulux Matte Paints in the shade Blush Pink, okay? So the first thing I did here was to, you know, mix the paint thoroughly because the paint was very thick, mixed it thoroughly and then transferred some into my painting tray. So what I did was to start from the edges, okay? I started with my paint brush to make sure I get all the edges first before I went in, went in with my roller, but I used the brush on all the edges, all the angles, as you can see here, just to be sure that I have that uniform finishing at the edge or at the edges. <laughs> you guys, you understand what I'm saying, right? So that's what I did for all edges. Meanwhile, guys, if this is your first time on this channel, please, I beg of you, do well to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever there are new videos, okay? So, yeah, just keep going with the edges. That's what I did here. I kept going with the edges and then, here yeah, I was done with all the edges, as you can see. So, this is a point where you, you know, go in with your roller brush is it roller brush they call it yeah just going with the roller brush to paint so i had to top up my paint and then started with the roller brush as you can see see so, yeah, i forgot to mention here please make sure you cover your floor especially if it's rugged because hey, this thing can be so messy can get really messy and as well be sure to you know be sure of the kind of top you're using to or the kind of clothes you're wearing to do this because this roller brush here really messed me up big time but anyways <laughs> we move so here i'm going with my roller brush and yeah it was a bit of you know process at some point i had to change the roller brush because it was really 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 messy and then i think another mistake i realized i did here was i should have bought a longer one so you can you need to get a, a longer roller brush so the longer roller brush is going to keep a little it's going to create a, a little distance between your hand and the wall where you're painting so it might not really get that messy also don't forget to tape your you know switches i think along the line i realized i was supposed to tape my switches because you need to get all that angle down there so yeah just you know tape everywhere you feel you don't want the paint to touch so that's the idea you guys can see how messy my hands are like i mean i regretted ever using this short roller brush so don't be like me okay 
all right good you guys painting requires a lot of patience at this point my hands were aching and the only way i could push through was just to you know keep enjoying it and have fun with it <laughs> this is the messy part of interior decoration like so at this point i was done with painting i was just letting it dry actually i was done so you just have to let it dry for a while before you start to take off the paint the before you start to take off the tape okay you need to let it dry if not as you're taking off the tape it might leak the paint to the other parts where you don't want the paint to touch and while taking off the paint if you find out there's any stain or any leakage anywhere just use a little bit of wipe to wipe it off I mean, no one is perfect is so yeah our wall is ready for the final touches so at this point i just had to let it you know i think at this point it stayed for some days because i was waiting for my stencil to arrive which i'm gonna attach somewhere here for you to see while waiting for the stencil to arrive from ebay um the bed was delivered so it kind of made things a bit complicated but we move <laughs> So at this point, I had started before I realized that I was supposed to film the whole process. So I'm just going to walk you through what I did here. You know, it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Because if you want somebody else, who am I to... So what I did, I took the stencil, placed it on the wall and taped it up against the wall. The reason why I taped it is because I wouldn't want when I'm, you know, painting inside the stencil then the paint either shifts or whatever so that was why i had to use a tape to make sure it was well seated on the wall so at this point i picked up my foam guys i used the foam not a paintbrush so i picked up my foam dipped it into a white wall paint this is more like a bathroom paint it's a dulux bathroom paint so i dipped it into the paint and dabbed on the opening so you can see what i'm doing here i'm making sure that the paint you know goes through i'm just dapping on the opening of the stencil i'm not brushing it i'm not doing anything of such i'm just dapping so i patiently kept on dapping into the opening of the stencil you have to be patient because while you're dapping some parts might not look, you know, uniformly distributed. So I was just dapping into the opening of the stencil to make sure that I get all the corners, okay? See, this process is really a very tasking process because you need to be patient and either your hand could be aching or whatever, but just be patient, take it one step at a time. So it took me about two days to finish up this thing because at some point I just left you know when i finished on this side of the wall i just left it and told myself i'll continue the next day so after dapping i let it sit on the wall for some you know minutes to dry up a little bit before taking it off so that it doesn't shift or the paint doesn't shift to another part of the wall so it's it's like i said it's a very patient process you need to be patient with it for you to achieve that result you want okay so i while taking it off i didn't take off the tape i took off the stencil together with the tape okay because this was the only stencil i had and i was just moving it from one part of the wall to the other so that's basically what i did here guys i was just taking the stencil from where i'm done and then moved it to another part of the wall okay and then repeated the whole process over and over again so whoever wants to try this out is try and get up to three stencils that was a mistake I made. I didn't realize that until I had started using. So that when you have up to three stencils, you just need to place them at different points of the wall and then dab them. So that by then you might have, imagine when you have dabbed like four or five and then you're allowing them to sit and dry before you move that five to another part of the wall. So it will be much easier with more stencils. And these stencils are not that expensive. I got them from eBay for about, I don't know, I can't remember the price, but I'm just going to attach it somewhere for you guys to see the price. So yeah, just get more stencils as much as you feel will make the work easier for you so that's basically all i did to achieve this accent wall guys 
um yeah you guys should let me know if this video was helpful if you think you're gonna try it out please let me know at the comment section i would really really love to know if you're gonna try it out so just be aware that there are different types of stencils it doesn't have to be this particular design you can just look up different stencils on ebay and use them to create that you know design you have been willing to or you've been wanting to have okay so yeah that's just all i did um you guys should not forget to like this video and also please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and i'll see you guys in my next one stay fabulous bye